Now, we had started from here that there are three basic structures or the basic outline of the cell. These three basic structures form the outline of the cell. So, first let's discuss about the plasma membrane. Now, come to the plasma membrane or cell membrane. So, plasma membrane or cell membrane forms the outermost covering of the cell. Plasma membrane or cell membrane is selectively permeable. What do you mean by selectively permeable? It means this membrane allows only certain things or selected things to pass through them. Things or molecules or substances. Now, here we can see the structure of the plasma membrane. This is known as a fluid mosaic model. Fluid mosaic model. Here we can see the outer side of the membrane contains some proteins like integral membrane proteins are present. These proteins help the membrane to pass certain types of molecules. Now, some peripheral membrane proteins are also present, which also helps in transportation. Some protein channels are present. Phospholipid bilayer is present, that is layer or the membrane contains some phospholipid. Phospholipids means phosphorus plus fats. Now, Glycolipid, it means lipid with carbohydrates attached. Here are the glycoprotein, that is protein when it is attached with the carbohydrates. Now, let's see. This is the structure or the outline of a cell. Inside this membrane is another membrane or wall. This is known as the cell wall and outside of the cell wall this is the plasma membrane or cell membrane see plasma membrane and cell wall are two different things plasma membrane is also known as the cell membrane while this is another membrane just inside the plasma membrane which is the cell wall. Cell membrane or plasma membrane is present in both plants and animals while the cell wall is only present in the plant cells not in the animal cells. Since in this diagram which I have made uh, in a rough manner. So here we can see it is clear from this diagram that plasma membrane is present on the outer side of the cell. It means when it is present in the outer side of the membrane or forms the outwork or the outframe of the cell, it is protective in nature. Now let's see the functions of the cell membrane. Cell membrane is selectively permeable. Selectively permeability is shown by this membrane that is plasma membrane and it means that it allows only certain molecules to pass through it. Now let's see another function that is cell signaling. Cell signaling is the mode by which one cell transfers some signal or messages to another cell. This is a good way or mode of transmission of signal from one cell to another. Now let's see another function. Cell adhesion and communication. One cell is attached to another cell with the help of their plasma membrane in common. 